Lux for Less family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanisha. If you're new, my channel is called Lux Living for Less. And on this channel, I just try to give you tips and tricks on how to live a fabulous lifestyle on a for less budget. Today is Tuesday, June 13. If it sounds like I just woke up, it's because I did about 30 minutes ago. It is 6.39 a.m. I'm at the gym. Yes, I'm at the gym. I'm starting my gym regimen back now what that regimen is going to be i don't know but today is day one of whatever that regimen is um y'all have been hearing me talk about me going on my trip and i just have a few pounds that i need to lose before my trip now the good thing about me is when i start to lose weight and I'm really focused and dedicated with it, I lose weight really quickly. Um, the last time I did the 30-day challenge, um, you all may or may not remember, that was last year. I lost about 15 pounds in one month and I wasn't um, like doing crazy workouts or anything. I would just do I, I did some form of exercise every morning. I didn't go to the gym every day. I probably did the gym about four to five days a week. And then the other few days, I just walked in my neighborhood or put on a YouTube video and did like some type of a um, aerobic video or whatever. But I lost about 15 pounds in a month. And I need to lose a little bit more than that. Maybe about 20 pounds. Um, although 15 is more realistic because I've did it before. But anyway, I'm here at the gym and um, even if it wasn't for my trip, I just really need to tone back down because one thing about me, I have a tendency to lose weight and then I lose it and then I fall off the wagon. And then I say, okay, let me get back on the wagon before I become the wagon. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here at the gym. Um, I'm not gonna bore you all to death with me going to the gym every single day because why so let's go in and get this workout started all right y'all i'm done at the gym first day is always hard at least for me it is anyway but um i'm headed back home now to take a bath and um, get ready to get my work day started. <sighs> Y'all, <laughs> that wasn't even a, a hard workout in the grand scheme of things, if I'm being completely honest, like for real, for real. But I have not been to the gym in several months. So first day back is always the hardest, but we gonna keep at it because we gotta go. Hi Lux for Less family, today is Wednesday, June 14th. Wanted to come and give you a little bit of transparency. I know I can't be the only one whose closet looks like this, an organized mess. With me just converting that bedroom over to a closet, it really put in the forefront how much attention this closet really, really needs and how much attention it has lacked. So I have decided to redo this closet and this closet right here is very small i mean when we built this house in 2004 this was enough space for us but since 2004 we have grown both figuratively and literally and this just ain't doing it no more so i'm gonna have this closet redone i'm not gonna redo it with like a california closet or a closet company because california california closet told me almost eight thousand dollars and we just this space is not worth eight thousand dollars to me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have my contractor come in and you can see these wire builders grade wire racks right here we're gonna have all of this removed and the closet is shaped in a u so it goes here here and then back over here all of the wire builders grade wire racks that you see will be removed then what we're gonna do is i'm gonna have shelving that's probably going to start right here i told y'all my husband is a little bit over six feet tall so the shelving has to be something tall enough where i can still reach it but not short enough where he is having to stoop you know when he wants to grab something it's not making him feel short we're going to raise this up to about here add shelving from this wall to this wall and then do the same on this wall here and then what we're going to do is the shelf the 
instead of the clothing rack starting here, the clothing racks will start probably three to four inches under where the sh new shelving is going to be. And it's going to be those heavy duty um, clothes hanging rods. And then this whole back right wall right here of wire shelving will be gone. And we're going to have shoe racks that are built here or I may be able to get the Ikea Billy bookshelves and put um, two or three of them here. That is probably going to be the only thing from Ikea that will work in this closet. I don't know really just yet. Um, that way, I'll have enough space for my husband to put all his shoes that he refuses to move out of the box. And there's more of them down here on the floor. You know how y'all men are about y'all shoes. If I have any men <laughs> watching this or my ladies who have men in their lives, you know they are serious about their shoes. I wish I could show you my son's closet. He refuses to take shoes, sneakers out of the box. Anyway, so the back wall will be how uh, the back wall will be a space to house shoes and then on my side i'm going to have enough space for all of my boots that are still down here in the box that i did not take out because i didn't want them to get messed up that's funny because i just <laughs> i just talked about his shoes but we ain't on that no more so um, and then on this wall, this situation right here will be eliminated and then it'll be the shelves, double hanging racks. So essentially I'm going to double the space because right now I only have space for, you know, it's just one rack. I'm going to double the space. So I'll have enough here and I'll have space here and then do the same thing on this wall. Um, I'm still not completely decided on if I want to do the Ikea Billy bookshelves or just have my contractor build me something out. I'm leaning towards the Billy bookshelves because they're sturdy. Um, it's something that can be put together fairly quickly and they're already white. Won't have to paint them, you know, just, just, just the whole thing. But this is going to be the next project once my crown molding is installed because this project is going to be fairly inexpensive. And y'all can see this closet just needs some love. Hi, Lux for Less family. Today is Thursday, June 15th. So I have my new chair. This one was so much easier to put together than the other one. The other one, child, it was a whole thing. This one, you literally just had to screw the legs in. But anyway, I like this one way better. You can see with the scale of the chair versus the other one, what I was talking about in terms of how small the other one seemed. I, al I always did want a chair that had bolster pillows on it. And um, I found this one. This one was a really good price. It really wasn't much more than um, the first one that I bought. And I think why I didn't get this one at first is because when I was looking and I saw it and I loved it, it was out of stock. Just so happened when I sent the other chair back and I was looking, this one was back in stock. So I'll have it linked below. And then I hung my picture. You all remember I got this from the thrift store for $6.50. Paris is my favorite city and I have little um, subtle hints of Paris, you know, in different parts of my home. But saw this for $6.50. I couldn't leave it. I loved it. The back of the picture it still had a price tag of $80. So for $6.50, I was happy with that. But I am considering putting like a little small table there really because I really just want to have somewhere to put my Tiffany vase. <laughs> If I'm being honest, but once my crown molding is installed, I'm going to raise the curtain rod and then I'm going to buy a, um, buy longer curtains. So it'll fit this situation better. One other thing that I do like about this chair is that it has storage. So if I wanted to put something in it, I definitely could put that back. Um, probably not going to use it for storage to be quite honest because I I mean I really don't have any reason to especially in here anyway but just wanted to come and show you all the new chair let me know what you think in the comments all right Lux for Less family today is still Thursday June 15th um I am going to a concert on Saturday I think it's um Xscape, H-Town, Silk, Tyrese 112 and some old other people I think I need to find something to wear now, I, me personally, am not one to wear heels to a concert because I just don't want to be in pain waiting and standing in those high heels 
to get in and out of where I need to go. So the outfit that I want to wear is I'm thinking about wearing my camos. I'm thinking about wearing my camos. I'm thinking about pairing it with this red blazer. And then I'm thinking about wearing my red Jordans with it. Or, I don't know what these are called. Y'all were with me when I bought these. My son know what they were called, but I don't know. And wearing it with these, and then wearing a black lace um, long sleeve bodysuit. Because I want to be comfortable, but I still want to, you know, look stylish and put together. And then for a bag, I'll either probably wear my Carl Lagerfeld. It has the pops of red. Or... I will wear my Chanel wallet on a chain. I never showed y'all this. <laughs> I've had this for probably a little bit over a year now, but this is a crossbody. Um, so I can wear it just like that. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking this is probably what I'm gonna wear. All right, y'all, here's the outfit. These shoes are brand new never worn so that's why i have them on my jacket um as a matter of fact they still have the stuffing in them so don't worry they're clean but this is the outfit this is the lace bodysuit i was telling you about um here's the strings right here that tie i thrifted this it's, it was brand new and i thrifted it it still had the tags on it so i think this would be a cute little look to wear to a concert i'll still be ladylike but i'll still be comfortable and i'll still be looking put together hi look to let's family today is saturday june 17th i'm here at the u.s post office i'm here to return a product i got from skin potion just a little bit of a backstory about a month ago i ordered um the karma sutra body oil from body oil from them they sent me the wrong product they sent me the cookie butter body oil cookie butter doesn't stink i just don't want to walk around smelling like a cookie i mean it literally smells like cookie butter um but I, I, didn't, I didn't want that so um i had to fight with them for about two and a half weeks and file a dispute with paypal to get them to send me my correct item they had not sent me a return shipping label because i told them i don't want to keep your stuff because it's expensive it was almost a hundred dollars and it's not something that i'm gonna wear so they finally last night, remember I said this was a, a little bit over a month ago. They finally last night sent me a return shipping label. I'm here at the post office to return these people that stuff because I don't want it. Lux for Lux family. I'm here at my next stop. I am here at the Army Navy Depot. I came here. I want to see if they have some camo shorts. Um, I kind of want to wear camo shorts tonight. If I don't wear camo, if I don't wear camo shorts, then I'm going to wear jeans when all else when all else fails, wear jeans, right? So I'm here at the camo, I mean I'm the Army Surplus store, and then after this, I'm going to the bank i have to deposit some checks and then i'm going home because i need to start you know putting my look together for mm. i need to start putting my look together for the concert so come on in and let's see what we can find <laughs>
You're full of energy after I'm done, you still I met a Gemini who wanted a sex drive She wanted it from the front back Baby. Real Tyrese fans in here Now when I say I love you, you supposed to say I love you too I love you I said I love you Oh my God, I love you. All the sweet ladies in the building, let me hear y'all sing it. Sing it, y'all. Sweet lady, would you be mine? Sweet love for a lifetime. So I'll be right there, baby. Don't leave me just all. How likes for this family? It is 1.43 a.m. <laughs> Um, the concert is over. I've come home. I've taken a bath and laid it on down. Um, concert was good overall. All of the acts showed up. Um, the order of the performances was a little, um, weird to me because some of the acts that went on and performed earlier in the show should have performed later and vice versa. Um, for instance, Elder Barge was one of the performers on the ticket, and I think he went fourth, and in my opinion, he really should have gone first. Um, on his very first song, he forgot the words to the song, and um, by the second song, somebody had to come out and, you know, just kind of keep him or maybe keep the crowd engaged because he was like his hype man. Now, we're not going to hold that against Elder Barge because, you know, he has had a history of, of drug abuse in his past. And um, he's getting older. And then, that you know, you mix that in with performing night in and night out for thousands of people. Hell, I'll probably forget the damn words, too. I can't sometimes remember what I had for dinner the day before, so... We ain't gonna hold it against him. He still sounds so good though. He he his voice sounds really good. It doesn't sound tattered or rusty. Um, his voice really sounds intact. So, you know, I, I don't think him forgetting the words to the song was contributed to anything other than fatigue, um, you know, his age, plus you singing night in and night out so um escape was really good to me they were the best performers on the ticket they went second to last so um i think maybe they co-headline with tyrese they really should have gone last in my opinion um next was really good tyrese um my friends and i left during his set <laughs> I just, I, I wasn't really much of a Tyrese fan during his music performing days. So, um, only a few songs I knew. And those were just the songs that were played on the radio. And I, it really didn't keep me or my friends engaged enough to want to stay. He sounded good. I will, t I will tell you that. But it's just, I, um never really connected to him as a performer when he was you know performing music and making albums before he started doing movies so he in my opinion really should have gone on before escape he probably should have gone on in the um elder bar slot that's just my opinion but um the concert was really good overall i enjoyed it my friend um really good friend of mine she was able to get tickets so we had a bird's eye view from a sweet box and they had food and drinks you know just um food and refreshments for your liking to enjoy during the concert and like i said it was a bird's eye view of the stage but other than that um 
Like I said, it's it's one something in the morning. I'm really sleepy. You know how sometimes you you you're gone all day and as tired as you are when you finally get a chance to lay down, you you your body just has to unwind first. That's what's happening. So happy Father's Day to all of the fathers and men in your lives. And if I have any men watching this, happy Father's Day to you too. But I'm going to go ahead and play Patty K with the same man. And I will see y'all in a few hours. Good morning, Lux for Lunch family. Today is Sunday, June 18th. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Y'all, I'm at the donut shop. I came to get my husband some donuts. Y'all, they are so crowded. I have never had to park in off-site parking from where the donut shop is located. Normally, I park right in the front. I had to park like on the side of the building across the street. They are so crowded, so I hope they still have some donuts when I go in there. But um, let's go ahead and hurry and get these donuts because I don't want this to be a blank trip because they are not close to where I live. Y'all, look how crowded it is. Look at all these cars. All of these cars are here for the donut shop. My Lord. I have never been here and they were this crowded ever. Thank you. All right, y'all, here are the donuts. Twelve fifty for a dozen and they are still warm. He's gonna be so excited. family today is sunday june 18th happy father's day if you are a father watching this or a father figure Sorry, i'm not sure girl about talking to you be quiet <laughs> anyway um i'm just sitting here at my kitchen table i just got done making dinner for my husband he requested gumbo it's one of his favorite meals that i make and he doesn't really ask for it very often because he knows the effort that goes into it. If you all have ever made gumbo from scratch, then you know that rule. Lord have mercy. That rule you cannot walk away from. You have to literally stand there and stir it because it will burn quickly. So um, he, he asked for it today. And because today is Father's Day, you know, I said, okay. But the procrastinator that I am, I did not go yesterday to the grocery store to get the ingredients for the gumbo. I waited till this morning. It seemed like everybody waited till this morning to go to the grocery store because the stores were kind of packed. But anyway, so I wanted, I wanted to tell y'all something funny. So remember that whole production that I went through about telling y'all what outfit I was going to wear to the concert? Child, I ain't wear. You know how you have an outfit idea in your head? And by the time you actually put it on, you like, uh-uh, this ain't working. That would happen. The outfit, in theory, was really cute, but it just felt too heavy for the occasion. Um, and what I mean by that is I was going to wear a red linen blazer with my camo bottoms. I showed you all camo pants, but I ended up switching it out to camo shorts. And I was going to wear um, either my Jordan 1s or my Louboutin sneakers. And although the outfit, once I put it together, it did look good. That blazer with it, it just felt too, too heavy. And I did not want to wear um, a lace top without having a blazer to cover at least some of you know, what was exposed. And it was, I mean, I really wasn't exposed. It was just a lace top, but you can see my bra through it. And I still wanted to remain a little bit conservative. I ain't, I am not all about uh, out here being out here showing all um, my goods, you know what I mean? But, um, so I did not wear it because it just felt like it was a little bit too much for the concert. And I, I told y'all I wasn't going to be wearing no heels so that was out so what i ended up wearing was a pair of guest jeans y'all you remember guests from back in the day um the pair of guest jeans my louboutin sneakers and then a black and red top that i just tied up it was very underwhelming in my opinion but it was still kind of cute i insert a picture of it so you can see what it looks like it wasn't nothing to write home in the fashion week about but <laughs> um 
anyway, the the concert, I think I did give you all my thoughts on the concert. Um, I liked it overall. My husband is at his parents' house. He went to go visit with his dad for Father's Day. Typically, I will go with him on Mother's Day and Father's Day, you know, to wish my in-laws a happy whatever on their respective days. But I was just tired today. But um, I did send them some gumbo, <laughs> so they were excited about that. And if I if he goes over there without me, he'll FaceTime, you know, so I can say hello. But anyway, he said he's going to come back and get in the pool right here. Um, Y'all, fun fact, we've had that pool almost a year, and I've only been in the pool one time. Once. One time. And I don't feel bad about it, but... Anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hello and close the vlog out with you guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LuxLiving4 underscore less. Also, hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.